David Coff, um, you've hung up the boots, but now you've picked up the clipboard and the whistle, mate. How are you enjoying the transition between player and coach now? Yeah, it's been really good, mate. Um, really enjoying it. I got asked to come back with by Wes, the head coach, um, start of the season to maybe have a different voice yep. um, around the group. The coaching staff has sort of changed slightly, hmm. um, and it was a, an option to come back from maybe a more recently retired player. Um, to integrate into Wes, Pooley, Harsha, uh, and others. So yeah, a... uh, obviously you are batting, but also you are a keeper as well. So are you bring that to uh, to the game as well. Yeah, I think I kept to about five games. <laughs> yeah, but you, you, you did well. Yeah, but yeah, you know, you know all that. So you help yeah, me out yeah, with yeah. the kids. Uh, so helping the keepers, uh, yeah. helping generally around fielding. Um, uh, and aspects of the game that maybe Pooley and Wes don't cover in terms of their batting and ball expertise. You said you're actually a recent player, so can I ask you, uh, is there a talk about how you can stay mentally alert? Because I've, I said at the start of the year, we need to be a little bit more aggressive in the field. I think we've been sort of the nice guys and, and haven't really sort of got stuck in hard. Is that something you'd like to bring to the, to, to the Seagulls? Uh, yeah, 100%. Gameplay? I think anyone who I've, who I've played with yep. uh, would say I was that person. So I'm um, trying to ingrain that. Um, it generally comes off the back of being pretty good as well yeah. so uh, once you sort of set good standards or higher standards then you, you're willing to then you can do the talk the talk yeah a little bit yeah 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 talking the talk before right. sort of uh, mixed bag on the weekend yeah um, it's it's been like that a little bit at the start of the season already yeah. um, I think from previous years when we played we missed out in small pockets mm -hmm. um, and that was a key really we, we were constantly trying to drive that message to the lads so yeah in the past we've had a reasonably good white ball campaign then we go into red ball it wasn't quite the case this year a little bit disappointing white ball 100% yeah it was a little, we came up a little short of uh, more so in the one dayers I think the the, the, the the KFC T20 Max we looked quite strong in certain areas and, and beat some strong sides um, it's more about really just all focus on, on red ball now and um, big run into Christmas with majority of the fixtures before. New captain this year as well, first grade? Yeah, I think there's been quite a through change throughout. Yeah. Um, it seems like we're just sort of looking to tinker them one and two percents, whether that be captaincy on or off the field, uh, fielding small margins to try and really have that 10 percent maybe over a game mm. that, that we can win. All right. Um, you got the Husky boys, mate. Is that a bit of karaoke on the weekend? Or were you yeah, screaming was, for the yeah, Broncos? Yeah. Or what was it going on? Uh, no, the boys? none of that. No, yeah. No. Uh, you're going for, uh, you're going for um, the uh, Spurs to beat Liverpool? Yeah, What's going pretty on? much. Yeah, more football um, and a weekend away. Uh, down in Cavarito with a few friends, so um, wasn't great. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Time. So anybody can pick up the Cavarito news. You'll find it on page three. Getting frog marched out of one of the facilities <laughs> down there. Uh, Dave Coff, uh, welcome back to the next mate. Now uh, oh, you, your, your contribution will be invaluable. So let's see how we go this weekend. Thank you. Stay classy. Cheers, mate. Beautiful. Yeah,